Hey guys, welcome back to another sit down with me Ali Hassan and this time around let's finish off that Canadian series I've been making while comparing life to Dubai. Part 2. So in my earlier video I spoke about the challenging aspect that one could face if you move from Dubai to Canada and nothing overly negative but uh, these were a few challenging points which I figured I mentioned to you guys. So in this one, let's talk about the benefits one has uh, while moving away from Dubai and coming over here to Canada. So the number one benefit, in my opinion, that one has uh, while immigrating to Canada, and this is probably the most important aspect. I can, I can end this video after making this point and everyone would be happy. <laughs> so it is security of life. Yes. Um, why do I say that? Because look, life in Dubai is great. I've lived there for about 12 or 13 years and it's fantastic the way it is and the facilities you have, the amount of money you earn and the kind of lifestyle you can actually lead is great. Although, there's no permanency to life. There's, there's, there's no feeling of uh, having a permanent home or, or a permanent uh, stage in life, if I can call it that. Because you're always on, on a visa which could be cancelled, expired and you will have to go back. So in Dubai, as long as you have a job, uh, a decent paying job, uh, you're living in the moment. Because there's so many distractions in Dubai and so many lavish distractions in Dubai and, and, and fairly so. You earn the money and you kind of indulge in uh, the what life has to offer in that country, which is great. But there isn't any permanency. By that I mean if you lose your job, you have about 30 days till you find a new one or you have to go back to your home country. That can be really, really frustrating. And I'll tell you that from my personal experience, it happened to me once. Uh, I think it was back in 2014, I lost my job. And uh, I looked around very hard, couldn't find what I wanted to do or couldn't find the job which I liked. Uh, I eventually had to go back to India and come back uh, with a new job. I was, I was lucky in that aspect because uh, just a couple of days before I had to go back to India, I gave the interview and the intelligent thing I did was I did not cancel my cell phone. I kept my cell phone on so because I knew I was coming back. So uh, I was in India for about 15 odd days so I did get a call from the company that I'm working for at the moment saying I've been selected. So I was fairly lucky. I, I would say I was, I was very lucky. After that episode, it got me thinking. It was like, what if something like this happened again? Would I want to go back and do the same thing all over again? Because how often can you do that? I mean, life in Dubai is kind of like that. Um, as long as you have a job in a decent enough company, you earn very good money. You save a lot. You earn good money, you save a lot, you spend a little and you're happy. But at the back of your mind, you always have that point um, what if I lose my job and what if my visa gets cancelled and or what if my if you have a family if you have a son a daughter studying in school in Dubai what if they are in say their fourth or fifth grade and, and all of a sudden god forbid you lose your job and you, and you don't find a job within that 30 day period what happens then so that according to me was a is a big drawback to life in Dubai like I said nothing's permanent there you don't get the feeling of permanency I know you can buy a property in Dubai right that's the way to get around this if you have enough money you can buy a freehold property in Dubai and they give you I think a 10 year renewable visa as long as you hold that property but I didn't have that kind of money and even if I did I wouldn't want to invest in Dubai I'd rather probably invest back home uh, in India or in this case any immigrate to a different country and invest there like Canada so that's my that was my major decision or probably the most important aspect that drove me to coming or immigrating to Canada and because when you come here you get that sense of permanency you can be like okay Canada is my home you can call it home and you can live here regardless if you have a job or if you don't have a job uh, you can look for a job no matter how long it takes so you're not kicked out of the country and yeah that is that is very important whether you are single Oh, well, if you're single, it's a little easier, to be honest, because if you're single, you lose your job, you go back to your home country, you apply and come back again or you come here on a visit. But if you have a family, like I did, 
uh, it hit me hard back in 2014 it really did and that got me thinking and that's what drove me to immigrating to Canada so I would say who's ever watching this video uh, if there's one thing that you want to take away from this is after coming to Canada you feel that sense of permanency you feel like you're not living in the moment you know uh, like you do in Dubai and you feel you feel a lot more grounded and that's the most satisfying feeling in my opinion the number one aspect is the permanency in life and I think most of us who are mature enough to look for that at some stage in life or do should look for that at some stage in life and coming here can uh, hit that point spot on so that was the first point so the second most important or beneficial uh, aspect that I found for myself after moving here is my child's education. Education for children up to university is free in Canada. It's funded by the government and it's taken care of by the taxes you pay. So that is great. Um, that is one thing I, I would have to had to worry about if my child started going to school in Dubai because A, the fees in schools in Dubai is, are exceptionally high. I mean, if you want to put your child into a good school in Dubai, you have to pay a lot of money. And I know that because I've got colleagues in Dubai. I had, I really obviously do have colleagues in Dubai who had children going to school. And they used to constantly tell me that A, getting a child into a good school is difficult. And B, it, it's really expensive. So I, I, was, I was probably lucky from that aspect because as long as I was in Dubai, my son didn't have to go to school because he was, wasn't the right age. Uh, the moment I came here, I started sending him to uh, kindergarten and yeah and as long as like I said as long as he goes to university it's gonna be free you have no idea if, and if you are a parent watching this if you're a family watching this you will really appreciate uh, and acknowledge this point really well because that is one less thing for you parents to worry about that the child's education is taken care of and it depends it doesn't really matter how many kids you have it's free for everyone so it's not like oh, it's free for one and you have to pay for the other and the third and the fourth but no so that is really helpful for me you have got a mental peace of mind that you know what my child is getting educated and i don't have to worry about it and that's a very good thing if you are a family watching this i would say don't worry about the child education it's taken care of very well here and you all can be happy coming here as a family now moving along a third aspect that i want to talk about is free healthcare or universal uh, healthcare now if you have seen my earlier video about challenges in Canada as compared to Dubai you would have seen I mentioned a point about you know the healthcare can get challenging when you have to actually avail it because of the long wait times and long queue times yes it is a bit frustrating when that happens but it's free you don't pay anything out of your own pocket you get your health card and then you're set for you and your family which is completely different than Dubai in Dubai when you have a job, the employer uh, insures you. In some cases, the employer only insures you, not your family. Uh, and then you have to buy additional health insurance for your family. In my case, the employer I have is it was was good. I mean, it not only insured me but my family and my child, so I had no problems. So I didn't pay for medical out of my own pocket in Dubai. However, there is this even if you even if you're insured in 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 Dubai, there's this eighty. 20 percentage 80 percent is paid by the employer and 20 uh, percent is still paid by you so you do end up paying a certain amount if you're an outpatient if you're an inpatient you pay 100 percent it, it has a, some kind of a technical thing so let's not get into that aspect what i'm trying to get here is in canada you don't have to worry about that health is the most important aspect anyone you know needs in life and it's free here and that's very good and that should also be one of the driving factors for you to think about immigrating to Canada and, and starting a family here or coming here with a family so free healthcare is is an immense benefit that this country gives you and I really appreciate that and when you come here so will you so the last point I want to talk about in this video is my personal favorite which is the weather I love the weather in Canada and so will you look the coming from Dubai the only two season that I, I knew was summers and mild winters that's it because as you know Dubai is like a, literally a desert and and you can't really expect much but coming here you get to experience all the four seasons and it's phenomenal winters being my personal favorite but uh, the other seasons are great as well closely followed by fall to be honest last year was my first winter in Canada and it was great 
I mean, the only challenging aspect I found was uh, my winter driving. Driving in winter is can be a little bit challenging if you're doing it for the first time like I did, but eventually you will get used to it. Just be careful when you come here. Winter driving is a little difficult, but having said that, the amount of nature that you get to experience in this country is great. Trust me, no amount of videos and pictures that you see online can do justice to the fact what this country has to offer. This is the second largest country in terms of area in the world and there's plenty to explore, plenty to look forward to. With my personal favorite being BAM. Now, because the world is right now falling apart, I did not get to plan to go to BAM, but hopefully next year, if I get a chance or not, if I will plan to go to BAM and that's absolutely great. If you look, just Google a BAM Lake Louise online. Just, just Google it up and just enjoy the shape beauty in pictures that the place has to offer. And in person, I am sure it's gonna be even more fantastic. So the weather from my aspect in this country is great. Whether you like spring, summers, fall or winter, you will really appreciate that. So that was the video guys. I really hope that was helpful. I know I did not discuss a whole lot of points but just the four of them. But according to me, these are the top four in my from my perspective. So look forward to seeing you in Canada. And until that time, share, subscribe and like the video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.